Hey YouTube, happy Monday. Hope everyone has had a great start to their week. Um, so this is a bit of an update from a video that I had posted a couple of weeks ago on quitting unhealthy coping mechanisms. When I posted that video, it was my intent, number one, to eliminate those coping mechanisms from my life immediately. And number two, uh, post updates, sharing my progress and how I've been doing with that. Unfortunately, immediately following that video, I went through a bad couple of weeks. Um, that is something that I do want to share in an upcoming video that I hope to have up either later this week or next week. Uh, but because of the weeks following that video, I got a late start on making a genuine and concerned effort in eliminating those unhealthy coping mechanisms, in my case, alcohol and cigarettes from my life. Uh, the last couple of weeks have been a lot better, so I was able to start and make that attempt. So we are a few days in, and I guess welcome to update number one. Okay, so let's start with alcohol. I am currently 9 days, 19 hours, and 55 minutes alcohol-free. I have not had many, if any, cravings. I think I had one last week. I was going through just a little bit of anxiety, just a typical situation where I would normally have reached for a drink. Um, instead of reaching for an alcoholic drink, I did have a an alcohol-free cocktail. Um, I'll put an insert of the ones that I have here, here. Um, whatever, it'll, I will throw an insert of it in this video. Um, I had one of those. Interestingly enough, though, I realized that I really didn't enjoy it. So it leaves me questioning whether I actually ever enjoyed the taste of alcohol or cocktails or whether it was, you know, I tolerated it for the alcohol sake, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, I've had that one minor craving and really haven't had any further cravings or difficulty avoiding alcohol. Smoking. Currently 8 days, 23 hours, and 53 minutes cigarette free. Currently I am using the nicotine patch. I started at step 1 and I'm now on step 2. Uh, I know they tell you to use step 1 for I think two weeks if I'm not mistaken. I only used it for a week because step 1 makes me really really nauseous so it was just kind of what I used for those first few days just to make sure that I wasn't tempted to have a cigarette because um, I didn't think that the step two would be strong enough to get me over those first few days. Uh, I have had a few cravings, major cravings. Typically the cravings hit when I get in my car and pick up my co my Starbucks or McDonald's or second cup coffee because uh, I tend to associate smoking with driving and drinking my coffee at the same time. Those three things tend to go together for me. Um, so that's been a challenge. I This week, finally, I do think I'm over that immediate, like that mental connection between those three things. I was able to go and get my coffee and run some errands today and not have that craving hit. And it's the first time in, you know, eight days. So I, I think that's progress. Now for me, I am choosing to acknowledge my cravings. I know a lot of people will tell you just to ignore your cravings as they come. For me, I think I'm seeing my cravings as a good thing. Each craving I have that I can get through is one less craving that I'm going to have. And it's one step closer to me being a non-smoker for good. So I'm not ignoring my cravings. I'm acknowledging them as they come. I am doing what I can to get through it, whether it be like mentally telling myself, do not buy a pack, do not have a cigarette, or whether it be using uh, nicotine gum, nicotine inhaler, nicotine lozenges, other nicotine replacement therapy in addition to my patches. But again, so far I have gone eight days, so I think that's pretty good. Uh, nine days, almost 10 without alcohol. So I think that's pretty good progress thus far. Um, of course, I am just at the very beginning of this, uh, trying to eliminate these unhealthy coping mechanisms. But so far, I'm really proud of the progress that I have made and hopefully I will continue to make further progress. 
So with that said, uh, I knew it was going to be a pretty short video today, uh, but if you want to see further updates or if you're interested to learn uh, the rocky few weeks and what happened after I posted that last video on quitting unhealthy coping mechanisms, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!